confetti in this game. confetti -ness. It's quite a long straight here, actually. If we can try to get a good launch off this corner. Should have done a little bit quicker. Come on, this is quite a long straight. Can we reach 150 miles an hour? We're, we're nowhere near it. It's not kind of quick enough, is it? Can I reach that speed? Let's see when it does, it does a jump. Yes, we've done it! Whew. We've done it, we've done it, we've done it. I guess that's the place we're probably supposed to do it. Ooh, almost hit the track. Oof. So I'm gonna hit the track. I'm gonna hit do the track limit punishment again. We're in first place though. Coming towards this sort of end part of the race, the last like third. Can we keep it in this place? Speed is key. Speed is key. Right, so top three. Man, slightly mental, apparently. Come on, own this track. Own it. If you've never owned it before. I thought they're pretty fairly close. It's like a little pack behind me. I think I'm just a little bit too quick for them. They can't handle the sheer speed of game right. So we'll probably crash now. Nope, it's all good. <laughs> Here comes the next one. This really feels like um I'm interested to see what it's like when we get further in, like when it comes to like the pro championship and stuff. How hard it would be. Because I know this is still like amateur AI, I guess. There's no way of like making it harder for myself, like there's no way of getting like, extra credits or leveling up quicker if I turn assists off it's just literally just do the races you can't buy new cars you just gotta wait for them to be unlocked which is a bit weird it seems to be like a heavy focus on like audi bmw minis and that's all i've seen so far to be honest so oh god oh god oh god i'm screwed that right up god that i screwed that end up really badly 